Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. The attitude of the Prophet, peace be upon him, with his companions, may Allah be pleased with them. All praise is due to Allah, the Lord of all worlds, who says in his ever glorious book to his Prophet, by an act of mercy from Allah, you, Prophet, we are gentle in your dealings with them. Had you been harsh, or hard-hearted, they would have dispersed and left you. So pardon them when you have decided on a course. So pardon them and ask forgiveness for them. Consult with them about matters. Then when you have decided on a course of action, put your trust in Allah. Allah loves those who put their trust in Him. I bear witness that there is no God but Allah, and that Muhammad is a servant and messenger. May Allah's peace and blessings be upon him, his household, companions, and upon those who follow their path to the Day of Judgment. The Almighty Allah has chosen for his Prophet, peace be upon him, noble companions with pure hearts. They were his disciples who learned from his guidance. He, peace be upon him, was their source of faith, morality, and ethics. Therefore, they got the pleasure of the Almighty Allah, who praised them in the glorious Quran, saying, As for the foremost, the first of the emigrants and the helpers, and those who follow them in goodness, Allah is pleased with them, and they are pleased with Him. And He has prepared for them gardens under which rivers flow, to stay there forever and ever. That is the ultimate triumph. Also the Prophet, peace be upon him, said about his companions, The people of my generation are the best, then those who follow them, and then those then whose who follow the latter. Abdullah ibn Mas'ud said, Verily Allah looked at the hearts of the servants. Allah looked at the hearts of the servants, and he found that the heart of Muhammad, peace be peace and blessings be upon him, was the best among them. So he chose him and sent him with a message. He found that the heart of Muhammad, peace and blessings be upon him, was the best among them. So he chose him and sent him with his message. Then he looked at the hearts of his servants after Muhammad, and he found that the hearts of his companions were the best among them. Thus he made them into the supporters of his Prophet. Our Prophet, peace and blessings of Allah be upon him, was the best one for his companions. May Allah be pleased with them. Anas ibn Malik, may Allah be pleased with him, said, Whenever the Prophet, peace be upon him, met a man, he would speak to him and would not turn away until the other man was the one who turned away. And if he shook hands with him, he would not withdraw his hand until the other man withdrew his hand. The Prophet, peace be upon him, used to praise his companions to reveal their virtues and merits. Once he, peace be upon him, said, The most merciful of my nation to my nation is Abu Bakr, and the strictest of them concerning the order of Allah is Umar, and the most truly modest of them is Uthman ibn Affan. The most knowledgeable of them concerning the lawful and the unlawful is Mu'adh ibn Jabal. The most knowledgeable of them concerning the laws of inheritance is Zayd ibn Thabit. The best reciter of the Qur'an among them is Ubay ibn Ka'b. And every nation has trustworthy one, and the trustworthy one of my nation is Ubaidah ibn al-Jarrah. Also to demonstrate the great status of Abu Bakr who accompanied him in his migration and his mission, the Prophet peace be upon him said, There is no favor due upon us from anyone except except that we have repaid him, with the exception of Abu Bakr. Verily upon us there is a favor due to him, which Allah will repay him on the day of judgment. No one's wealth has benefited me as Abu Bakr's wealth has benefited me. And if I were to take anyone as a close friend, I would have taken Abu Bakr as a close friend. But your companion is the close friend of Allah. Also our Prophet, peace be upon him, was the best teacher and educator for his companions. He used to instruct them kindly of 
avoiding any harsh treatment. He said to his companion, Mu'adh ibn Jabal, may Allah be pleased with him. O oh, Mu'adh, by Allah, I love you and advise you not to miss supplicating after every prayer, saying, Allahumma a'inni ala dhikrika wa shukrika wa husni ibadatik. O oh, Allah, help me remember you, expressing gratitude to you and worship you in the best manner. Also, Mu'awiyah ibn Hakam as sulami may Allah be pleased with him, reported while I was in the prayer with the Messenger of Allah, peace be upon him, a man in the congregation sneezed and I responded with, Yarhamuk Allah. Allah have mercy on you. The people stared at me with disapproving looks. So I said, May mother lose me. Why are you staring at me? Thereupon they began to strike their thighs with their hands. When I saw them urging me to remain silent, I became angry, but restrained myself. When the Messenger of Allah, peace be upon him, concluded his prayer, I have never before seen an instructor who gave better instruction than him. May Allah, may uh, my father and mother be sacrificed for him. He neither remonstrated me, nor beat me, nor abused me. He simply said, it is not permissible to talk during prayer because it consists of glorifying Allah, declaring His greatness as well as recitation of the Qur'an. Our praise is due to Allah, Lord of the worlds. May Allah's peace and blessings be upon Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, his companions and followers. Our Prophet, peace be upon him, used to check on his companions, share their happiness and sorrows. Buraida ibn Hussein said, The Prophet, peace be upon him, used to check on the Ansar, visit them and ask about their conditions. Also, when the news of the death of Ja'far came, the Prophet said, Prepare some food for the family of Ja'far, for indeed something has happened to them that will keep them busy. May Allah's peace and blessings be upon our Master Muhammad and upon his family and companions. We ask Allah to protect Egypt and raise its flag high among all countries of the world.